Marissa and you're watching Soulful Studies Sunday, where college girls come to redefine college and life success while learning simple and effective study skills. College is stressful, but if you throw a relationship in the mix, things can get a little bit crazy. Am I right? I know a lot of the complaints that I hear from college students who are in relationships is that their partner feels like they're not dedicating enough time to them while they're going through the semester. I know that this was the case for Elvis and I when I first started nursing school. During the first semester, we got into a lot of arguments about me not being able to balance the heavy school workload and our relationship. I felt a lot of guilt over having to choose between being really successful in nursing school and keeping my relationship. And so in this video, what I wanna talk about is how I finally learned how to balance college and a romantic relationship. Now, the first thing that needs to happen is communication. Being clear with them what your schedule is like, the amount of free time that you have, when your busy periods are and when you have big projects and exams that are due, it's going to make it easier for your partner to understand why it is that you're saying no to hanging out with them. So communication is key. The second thing is you need to take a look at your schedule and you need to take a look at where you're spending your time. Every single time that you spend two hours scrolling Facebook instead of spending it with your partner, what you're saying is that Facebook social media is more important than your partner. One of the things that I did when I was in nursing school with Elvis is that Sunday night was our date night. That was the one day out of the week where there was no thinking about school, there was no talking about school, there was no doing anything for school, and my time was 100% dedicated to spending time with him, spending time with myself, and really pouring into that relationship to make sure that it lasted through those tough times in nursing school. So that means that when you're with your partner, you're not thinking about the exam that you have a week from now. You're not thinking and feeling guilty about the fact that you're spending time with them instead of studying. And the way that you get to that point is by having a very good sanity schedule and having a good study strategy and that comes with time that comes with learning how to study and if you feel like you need help with that so that you are studying effectively and in less time so you have more free time to spend with your partner then I recommend that you check out Rock at College which is my course on learning study skills and you can learn more about that if you go to rockatcollege.com but it can be done balancing college and a romantic relationship or any kind of relationship can be done but you have to make the decision that that relationship and that college are both equally important to you and you have to prove that through how you manage your time and how you manage your life remember that every single time you say yes to something you're saying no to something else so be very careful with what you're saying yes to because that's taking up your time and it's telling that other thing that it's not important. Now I hope that you found this video helpful and if you did, make sure that you subscribe to this channel. I create videos like this every other Sunday and I would love to hear from you, love to hear about your relationship struggles in college and maybe I can help you in the comment section down below. As always, thank you so much for watching this video and I will see you in the next one. Bye. I hope you enjoyed the episode of Soulful Study Sunday you just watched. I have so many more study skills and practical college advice in the Rock at College system, a step-by-step -step blueprint for creating your own study system. Get better grades without the stress, overwhelm, and lack of social life over at rockatcollege.com.